Attendance. If you struggle with attending classes, want to improve it, or you just don't want to attend for whatever reason, then this video is for you. Why school attendance matters. Although school can be challenging or even boring sometimes, there are many reasons why you should still push through and attend. Social skills. It's where you build social skills by interacting with others through class discussions, building friendships, and by participating in activities. You'll need social skills if you want to do well in your job, move up in your career, make money, have healthy relationships, and be happy. Learn critical life skills. You learn skills you can use in life, even though you might not always see it right away. Ordinary students wait for teachers to tell them how things apply to their life, and then they wonder why they're always bored. But extraordinary students find the relevance themselves with these questions. How can I use this to achieve my goals? Who can I help with this knowledge? How can this help me become wealthy, healthy, and intelligent? How can I have fun learning this? Hundreds of ultra-successful people applied what they learned to their goals. Kobe Bryant, for example, got straight A's in high school because he used everything he learned to improve at basketball. In school, you get better at reading, writing, listening, speaking, math, science, history, exercise, foreign language, and more. All of these which make you a powerful force in whatever career you choose. You learn discipline, patience, work ethic, critical thinking, goal achievement, and strengthen your character. Of course, if you choose to. Get better grades. Students who attend regularly get better grades and graduate more than those who miss many school days. Getting your diploma has many advantages over those who don't. The U.S. Census Bureau reports that high school graduates earn an average of $10,000 more each year. It makes you more competitive when applying for a job and is needed for enrolling in college, trade schools, the military, or other continued education after high school. Some schools have awards and prizes for good or improved attendance. The Consequences of Chronic Absences Let's talk about chronic absences and their consequences. Chronic absence means you're missing 10% or more of the total number of days enrolled during the school year for any reason, including both excused, unexcused, out-of-school suspensions, and in-school suspensions that last more than one half of the school day. If you miss school twice a month, or about 18 days per year, you're five times more likely to fall behind in reading, writing, and math, and makes it more difficult to graduate even if your absences are excused. When you miss one day, you're really missing six to seven classes, so when you come back, you're lost, lose motivation, or eventually don't care. If your absences are unexcused, it's considered a truancy and you'll be reported to the attendance supervisor at your school or district. This means you miss more than 30 minutes of instruction, whether tardy or absent, without an excuse three times during the school year. According to law, children ages 6 through 18 are required to attend school regularly, and refusal to do so can result in a referral to the School Attendance Review Board, known as SARB. SARB offers students a last chance to improve attendance before a referral is made to juvenile court, which may lead to juvenile probation and the juvenile court system. This is currently the law for California, but your state might have stricter rules. Additionally, parents who fail to improve their child's attendance may face criminal prosecution and penalties. Don't add more stress to your life. So what's an excused absence? An illness that's contagious, debilitating injury, or an absence ordered by a doctor, medical appointment, family emergencies like a severe illness or funeral of an immediate family member, jury duty, court appearances, or severe and unexpected transportation issues. What doesn't count are excuses like, I've had a long week or I'm tired, I have a tummy ache, I'm sad, stressed, or not in the mood. You are what you repeatedly do, and actions like this create a habit of being inconsistent, unreliable, undisciplined, and fragile in the face of adversity. You gain the bad habit of letting your mood and energy dominate you, and when the real challenges of life come up, you'll bail out and be absent. You'll escape what's uncomfortable and not doing the things you need to do in life because you don't feel like it. Don't let that be you. Attending school builds self-discipline and self-confidence that is only developed by doing the tough but important things in life, 
especially when you don't feel like it. So have a push through mindset where you'll do whatever it takes to get to school, even when you don't feel like it. Put your values and goals ahead of your temporary feelings. What you'll notice is that once you get to school and start your day, your mood changes. And that's because action leads to motivation, not the other way around. All of a sudden, your tummy ache is gone or that sluggish feeling goes away. Focus on giving your best every day and on what you can control, like your effort, thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. Use how can I questions to get through the day motivated. If you're tired, think, how can I get more energized? Maybe you do some jumping jacks, splash cold water on your face, drink some water, and sit up straight. You'll see your energy levels change. If you're bored, ask, how can this connect to my life? Or how can I make learning this fun? Average students depend on things to be fun and exciting for them to learn. And when it's not, they won't learn, they blame the teacher and others. Extraordinary students are motivated and have fun no matter what class they attend. They're in charge of their destinies. They are not victims or prisoners to their environment. So push through, even when you don't feel like it, are tired, or it seems inconvenient to show up. If you wake up late, you still attend. If you don't have a ride, you walk or find a ride. If school is far for you, you wake up much earlier to allow for travel time. Treat school like a job. Think of it as job training. If you miss a day of work in a real job without an excuse, you're automatically fired. If you miss several days even with an excuse, you can be viewed as unreliable, uncommitted, and not driven to succeed. And they can fire you. Who wants an employee who doesn't show up? This will impact your ability to get another job because potential new employees will call your previous boss and ask them, was he or she reliable and hardworking? Now, if you're not attending because you're depressed, highly anxious, or you're being bullied, see a doctor, talk to a counselor, the principal, a parent, or a teacher you trust. Eventually, you will have to face your challenge with a new set of skills because what you avoid gets bigger and creates more problems. Tips for improving your attendance and being on time. Connect with your teachers. When you like your teachers, you'll want to attend more. Don't wait for them to be nice to you. Be nice to them and watch what happens. Give them a compliment. Thank them for the lesson. Open the door for them. Help them set up the lesson. Ask them for help. Say good morning and smile. Participate. Wish them a great day. Give more of what you want to receive and you'll be surprised how your relationships with them change. Make learning fun and give value to your classes. Become friends with students who are doing well in school. Participate. Ask questions and find ways to relate the information to your life. Don't wait for the teacher to make it fun. Take charge and be in control of your learning and engagement. Sleep early so you get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Getting up early and energized makes it easier to attend school. Make sure your room is dark, cool, quiet, and relax your mind with mindfulness. Listening to nature sounds like rain, soft music, and even use scents like lavender to fall asleep. In order to sleep early means limiting social media, video games, and other fun hobbies to one to two hours after your homework is done. Eat healthy meals high in vegetables and low in processed foods that contain sugar. Don't eat and drink water less than three hours before sleeping so you sleep well without digestive problems and having to use a bathroom. Drink plenty of water during the day and get some sunlight in the morning to boost your mood and help you sleep at night. True friends will understand. Many friends might want you to ditch class, hang out late, or just pull you away from school and your goals altogether. So tell them this. Hey, I enjoy hanging out, but graduating means a lot to me, and as my friend, I need your support with this. You'll obviously say it in a cooler way, but you get the point. If they don't understand and call you a nerd, sellout, or loser, then their true colors are showing. Do you really want people that hold you back as your friends just because they're cool or popular? Take responsibility. Don't be the reason you're late or miss school. Set your alarm to wake up early so your parent or guardian isn't having to drag you out of bed. Give yourself enough time to get ready and eat a good breakfast. Learn how to make your breakfast and lunch, even if it's cereal and a sandwich. Sometimes a car is unreliable or a parent wakes up late and usually takes you to school late. This is where you take responsibility because in life, even the people we love and trust aren't perfect. So take ownership. 
You can put your energy into finding excuses, blaming, or complaining, but you can't control what others do or don't do. You can only control what you do. Find another ride to school, ride a bike to school, or walk if it's close, or have a serious conversation about needing their help in getting to school early. Have them watch this video to see why attendance is critical. Ask your friends where they live and if they'd be willing to walk with you to school or give you a ride. Some obstacles aren't avoidable, but limiting absences is important. Join clubs and after-school programs. These give you another reason to enjoy school. Your school might have sports, music production, arts, dance, speech and debate, business classes, video game production, and others to help you develop skills to achieve your dreams. Get the academic help you need. Most students don't attend school because they're so behind academically, they have low skills in math and reading, and they've lost motivation. I've seen students with a 0.0 GPA go to tutoring, study hall, participate in class, join study groups, ask peers for help, go to office hours and get the help they need, and improve to a 2.0, 3.0, and even 4.0 within a year. So don't look at the past anymore. Break those chains and look towards the future to create a new you. Use this tried and tested tip that teachers actually appreciate and will help you. Go to a teacher and say, uh, Teacher, may I have a minute with you, please? I've been absent a lot and haven't been my best, but I really want to improve and I need your help. Can you help me create a plan to succeed? I'd really appreciate it because I can't do this without you. Watch what happens and mark my words, you'll be amazed. I've heard stories of teachers going the extra mile to help students improve. They build a stronger bond with them, and those became their favorite teachers, all because you were humble and courageous enough to ask for help. Be responsible if absent. If you have a valid reason to be absent, as we mentioned, call on time, ask if anything is due next time, and what will be missed. Arrange to pick up handouts, study guides, assignments from the instructor at their office or other manner. Maybe a friend will let you photocopy or copy their notes 10 minutes before class starts, or they can take a picture and text or email them to you. Make the most of your school experience. Arrive to class prepared with your syllabus, textbook, notebook, pens, highlighters, pencils, post-its, a calculator, or other required tools. Remove distractions like your phone, participate, ask questions, have a positive attitude, and be kind to your teachers and peers because you'll need them to succeed. Be there on time, usually no less than 20 minutes before school starts, so you're not rushing or stressed, and get a chance to catch up with some friends. If you need help with any of this, always ask your teachers or a principal or a counselor. They'll help you get all the tools you need. 